Hi, my name is Sandro Esposito with SignalFire. In this video, I'll be showing you how to configure a gateway stick to communicate with a Sentinel heart. So it's similar to our other videos where we show how to connect like a pressure scout to a gateway stick. We'll be showing more or less the same thing, but now a different node. So what we have here for setup, we have the gateway stick, the breakout board, we have the USB serial cable, and the USB 4-pin cable that will be necessary to configure the Sentinel. And we have here a Sentinel heart node. So the first step will be to wire up the gateway stick, land those six wires onto the breakout board right over here. Okay. Apply 6 to 36 volts DC to the breakout board. Then connect the USB serial cable to your computer. Part two will be to then configure the Sentinel heart. Um, one thing I'd like to point your attention to is the cable for the battery. So the cable for the battery has to be landed where it says right over here on the bottom, lithium battery, okay? The top part is when you want to land the wires coming from a solar panel. So this is a solar panel that we offer. This is where you would connect the output of the signal fire solar panel assembly to the Sentinel. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect this to the lithium battery connector. And we're going to see that the Sentinel is now searching. This light is blinking and it's searching for a gateway. The top part over here is the antenna of the, the Sentinel, which is covered by the, the cover of the Sentinel uh, cap. So now the next step is to simply connect the USB 4 pin cable, match the pin together on the connector. This is connected to your USB port on your computer. And now let's move on with the configuration of the Sentinel to talk to the gateway stick. So first locate on your computer the SignalFire toolkit and launch the software. Select from the drop-down the proper COM port associated with the USB serial cable. If you don't know which one it is, simply disconnect and reconnect. Once you auto-detected the gateway, the gateway page now shows up. On the left-hand side, you'll see the supplied voltage, the firmware, and so forth. The first part is to configure the radio settings. So this is where you have to set a unique radio network and network group that you associate with this gateway. And then you'll put an encryption key. This is to ensure like 128-bit encryption messages between the gateway and the node. Apply the settings. Now the gateway has been configured. Part two is to now to set up the Sentinel. So you're gonna select the proper COM port of the USB serial pin, uh, this USB four pin cable. Click on auto detect. The software will automatically detect that there's a Sentinel attached to it. And you'll see like the specifics on the left hand side as well. So what we'll do here, we'll match the radio network group, network and encryption key. So pick zero and one, which is what we had like uh, set previously and hit the set button. Now go to the encryption key there, right there on the bottom left, type in your encryption key that is inside the gateway. You need to match them up, hit the set button. Now you can force connect the, or update the software to validate that the Sentinel is successfully, has successfully connected to the gateway. So click connect update until you see the word connected right there with the signal strength. You can proceed in terms of setup in putting a unique slave ID number, which has to be unique between one to 240, a node name, something that's useful to identify this specific Sentinel, the, the, the radio mode, it's gonna be sleeping for most applications. How often do you want the Sentinel to essentially report back to the gateway? This affects the battery life. Okay, you can notice right there on the left-hand side. And also how 
how much time does it take for your sensor attached uh, to wake up and and make a reading? So this also affects the, the battery life. So just uh, refer to the manual of your sensor to know how much time it requires to boot up and to boot up and make a measurement. And once you have all these settings made, the Sentinel is like configured. Uh, the last step would be to set the heart information under tools, but that's in another, another video where we detail how to set up the heart sensor for the Sentinel. So please uh, look for our, our other video on that topic. And that's how you configure the device to connect to the gateway. As you can see, it's showing up here as a node with the signal strength, with how often it's updating, and so forth. So as you can see, it was pretty simple to connect the Sentinel to the gateway stick. Um, a reminder or a summary, we first set up the radio network group an ID and a pass key or encryption key in the gateway. Uh, then we connected to the Sentinel and did the same thing. We matched the settings of the gateway into the node. One important thing is like you need to make sure that each node have a unique slave ID because our gateway can have up to 240 nodes connected to it. Make sure that we can set up any node from Signifier that they each have a unique slave ID. The uh, other part to notice is the blinking pattern. So when you see that the gateway is blinking fast, that means there's no node connected to it yet. Like this one is blinking slowly. And so this blinking pattern tells you that there is at least one node connected. And that's how you set up a Sentinel with the gateway stick. Watch our other videos on how to set up other nodes with our various gateways. Thank you.